All right, so this is going to be an unboxing of the William Optics Red Cat 51 millimeter Apple Chromatic Telescope. Looks like we have a nice William Optics case here. It's very plush. We'll unzip this. And Okay, and then we have some Red Cat stickers, which is nice. Uh, we have a warranty card and a little quick start guide. Okay, here's the main event, the Red Cat telescope. Let's take this out of the bag. Okay, wow. This is very pretty. It has a lens cap. Plus it has a built-in Batnov mask, which is really cool. Um, let me just, oh, whoa, whoa, it farted. So here what you do is you unscrew this, and then you have the Batnov mask here. So how you would use this Batnov mask is you'd place it on the front end of your telescope, and you'd point it to a light source such as a star. Uh, you would turn your focus wheel on the telescope until the pattern of the mass creates uh, diffraction spikes like this. Uh, what you'll see is an X, and then you'll see this slowly forming spike coming down through the center of the X. And when it's straight down the middle like that, you'll know that your telescope is focused and you can begin your observing session. Okay, so let's look at the glass here. So what we have here is the Petzval Apple lens. This is a f4.9 lens, which is a very fast lens, especially for a telescope. This is going to do really well for astrophotography uh, in terms of photographing galaxies and nebula. Basically, deep sky objects that you need longer exposure to pull in all the light that's available. It's a nice red uh, dovetail bar. has a place to screw on guide scope. On the back here is where you will attach your imaging camera. There, which I don't have yet. I'm planning on getting a ZWO ASI, I think 1294 MC Pro cooled, one shot color camera. Okay, also, this comes with a dew shield. Right. Here's the lens. Then attaches like this, actually. Okay, so here is the full size uh, Red Cat. This is what it looks like. Okay, so this is it. This is the unboxing of my new uh, Wim Optics camera.